I, I don't know how big a deal this is. I, I, I figured it would be coming at some point. It comes on a Friday, though, at the end of the week where all this, you know, excitement and momentum seems to be building. It's almost, it feels like a honeymoon period in politics, and you wonder how long it's going to last. What would you say as we wrap up the week? I would say if my honeymoon included millions of dollars raised almost every night this week, um, breaking Zoom with hundreds of thousands of people online donating at the same time and ensuring that the base was extended to Latinos, LGBT community, black women, white women, black men, you name it, they're on and they're locked in for Kamala Harris. I would say that that's an extensive honeymoon that nobody who's ever run for public office has seen. So I, I do push back a little bit in the terms of a honeymoon phrase, phrase here because this is not what this is. This is a movement. Uh, she's shattering records in fundraising. She's shattering records in organizing. We're seeing a, a coalition not only of Democratic elites and, and funders as well, but from grassroots. The overwhelming majority of those who are donating to her are people who this is their first time donating yes. to any political campaign. This is not a honeymoon phase. I, this is legendary. I think that last point's actually really, really important because sometimes we focus on all the celebrities, you know, who... You, you, I remember last time, I, well, not last time, 2016, uh, the, I was there the night before the election in Philadelphia, and I don't think I've ever been in an event with more celebrities. Uh, um, you know, Springsteen played, uh, Bon Jovi played, o Obama was there, uh, Michelle Obama was there, both Clintons were there, obviously, she was running. It was celebrity after celebrity, next day Hillary Clinton lost. But the grassroots part of these phone calls throughout the week, whether it's black women for Harris, white women for Harris, all these different phone calls that have been going on, as you, as you said, they kind of broke Zoom. That might be a big deal in, in right now, what's, what's going on. Now, speak about the sustainability of it. She's, she's going to get to a point, and maybe she already has where the race is very, very close, and then it's what happens after that. What's next? Well, I think it's already happening. We know that all of those calls have now moved into their sunset phase, and people are still clicking on the link and donating today. Um, the white women for Kamala uh, call last night, as of today, has eight and a half million dollars that have now been donated towards the campaign and small dollar donations. That matters. But in addition to these calls, it's not just about donating. It's also about um, getting organizers on the ground in the battleground state. She knows that that is key to a victory, making sure that people know what's at stake, that they understand the value of women's reproductive rights, that they understand what's faced on the other side with the vision from J.D. Vance, who's talking about uh, single childless cat ladies out here. Right. Um, I think that it's very important that those women and those men know what's at stake in this election and that they're organizing on the ground. This is a huge GOTV effort that is three and a half months in advance. That is something that I think we really should pay attention to. In terms of the numbers, um, I mentioned this with Senator Jones, so I'll bring it up uh, as well on the screen if we can on the tablet, uh, in terms of how the last couple of elections went. Women vote, bro we break it down, white women, black women, Latina, it, Biden versus Trump. You see where the numbers were, black women in the middle of the screen, 95 uh, to 5. Of course, when Hillary Clinton was at the top of the ticket, that number was higher at 98, but you know, overall Democrats have, have done you know, very, very well. Uh, it, turnout's going to be the question. And the other thing is going to be, Amisha, Harris is going to have to sit down for interviews, right? And, you know, this is the way a campaign goes. We've got 100 days. She's going to well, we'll see if there's going to be a debate after the Trump statement last night. We don't know, but presumably there's a debate. She'll be challenged on the issues. They're going to go after her. And you brought up the other stuff that's going on on the side, but they'll go after her on the issues, economy, immigration. Does she have answers ready on both? Well, we're waiting for that policy discussion. While um, the right seems to love to attack VP Harris as a DEI VP or a DEI presidential candidate, what we're pushing for is to have that conversation about the issues, to talk about health care reform, to talk about student debt relief, to talk about um, making sure that Americans have a cost of living that is affordable for them, making sure that unions feel supported, making sure that workers' rights are upheld. Those are conversations that yeah. the VP is what about very the border, ready to though? have. She's ready to have that conversation as well. We know that this uh, this vice president, in addition to the president who she's currently serving with, had very strategic plans around the border and that those policies were pushed and were actually supported by the Senate Republicans. And the House Republicans ended up blowing that up three times because they were listening to a call from former President Trump who did not want to have any level of border relief because, quite frankly, he, didn't, he wanted something to run on this election cycle. We know that Vice President Harris on this campaign trail is going to emphasize the policies that work in terms of border relief, in terms of asylum law, and ensuring that they are humane in the process. All right, Amisha, good to see you as always. Amisha Cross with us. We'll get back. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.